So today, guys, we're going to talk over the uh, Techman editions, uh, the credit hold edition. I'm Gerdy Barra, uh, or Gerd, and uh, I'm a Dynamics Nav consultant here at Techman. Credit held list. Again, this is another one of the areas that comes in with the um, credit hold edition, and I'll just search for the credit held list. Okay, um, now all this is, guys, is a list of all the current documents uh, that have been held uh, or credit held uh, by the modification. Um, so I'll just talk you through very quickly. So uh, we've got the document type in this case, which is an order. And uh, then we've got the document number. And then we've got a reason for why it's been credit held. Um, and in this example, it's been credit held by user TR01. Uh, we'll, we'll cover that in a bit more detail later on. And uh, from this point, uh, we've just got a bit of information about the customer and the document amount here you can see. So uh, it's a total amount uh, that's 9,400. Um, against customer 10,000, which is the Canon Group PLC. So at the moment, we've just got one order that's been held. But um, in theory, when you when this functionality is being used across the system, every order that's held would be shown on this particular list. Just going across the ribbon here, guys. Just the relevant actions: the uh, release and hold. Uh, we'll come on to uh, in a bit more detail later on. So the statistics button that just posts uh, that just points, sorry, effectively to the statistics button on the uh, sales order itself. So if you wanted, for example, a quick overview of sort of how much the document was excluding VAT, including VAT, how much the VAT was, it's just a quick uh, sort of pointing button to the um, statistics of the document itself. Okay, and the held and released documents will come uh, back to in a second. Very simply, the card, uh, if I click that, that takes me directly to the sales order document itself that's been held. Um, so it's just if you wanted to see sort of what, what the order was made up of. So I can see here that it's a one item line for item 1000, which is a quantity of two coming from the location code blue. So again, just points to the standard NAV sales order document, which you can use to review what the document looks like. Okay, and then the rest of the uh, buttons, they're there as you would see on a standard nav page, they speak for themselves. Okay, I'll just check, uh, sorry, the actions. Okay, so um, on the actions tab, uh, as we have on the home tab, um, we have the release and the hold buttons. And uh, as you've probably already guessed, uh, you would use these to either release or hold a document. Um, now, we'll run through these in a bit more in the scenarios, uh, but essentially you would use these buttons to then release a document from this screen and then allow the user to then go ahead and process that document. Um, if I navigate, I'll come back on to the hold in a second, uh, but if I navigate uh, and just navigate to the released documents, and just click on that there, it shows me a list of all the documents that have been released. Okay, so in other words, so I'll just go back to held um, documents. If I said release on this document, I could then navigate to the release documents and this that document would then appear here. And obviously we'll run over this in the scenarios, but that document would then appear here. So if I just uh, come across on this a little bit, so we've got uh, the username of the user, credit released by, and credit release date time. It's just an indication of when it was released. And obviously we've got, as we did on the previous screen, we've got the amounts and the overdue balance of the customer as well. And as I was saying, sorry, so we can uh, we can release the document uh, and that would then go to uh, the released document screen. Um, and what we can do from the release documents, and obviously we'll run over this uh, a bit later on in a scenario, but we can effectively re-hold a document from here. So if we release the document and said, nope, hold on a second, I didn't mean to do that, we can navigate to the release documents and then go back to actions and re-hold that document. 